we can finally put all those Switch Mini rumors to rest. This morning, Nintendo officially revealed the Switch Lite, a cheaper version of its insanely popular hybrid console that's meant specifically for handheld play. Now, there are a lot of things that we'll need to get into, but I'm pretty sure I know what question you're really interested in. How much cheaper is this thing? Well, when it launches in late September, the Switch Lite will sell for $199. That is a full $100 off of the standard Switch's price tag. Hitting that price meant Nintendo had to make some compromises, and here is the biggest. When I say the Switch Lite is meant for handheld play, I really mean it. The controls are built right into the sides of the console, so you can't remove them for a little Joy-Con fun. You can't connect the light to a TV at all either, and beyond those surprisingly dramatic changes, Nintendo also did away with HD Rumble and the IR sensor for the Switch Lite. As far as I'm concerned though, the positives dramatically outweigh the negatives. For one, there is a proper D-pad to the left of the screen. It used to be that you had to buy a third-party Joy-Con to get one of these. You can slip the Switch Lite into a bag more easily because the new model has a slightly smaller 5.5 inch touchscreen display that runs at the same 720p resolution as the original. It even weighs a little less too, which will make those long hours playing Fire Emblem in the bathroom, which is something I'm definitely going to do, much more tolerable. And maybe best of all, a more efficient chipset design means the Switch Lite will have at least slightly better battery life than the original. Frankly, the timing couldn't be much better. Pokemon Sword and Shield are set to launch this November, and if history is any indication, they're going to get a lot of people buying Switches. The original handheld hybrid device thing is always going to have a special place in our hearts, but if you're looking to try out a next-gen Pokemon game and don't want to drop $300 on the console by itself, the Switch Lite might be exactly what you're looking for. That also explains why Nintendo is showing off a pretty handsome Pokemon-themed Switch Lite with cyan and magenta buttons in addition to the standard yellow, turquoise, and gray models. As weird as it might be to see Nintendo offering two different versions of the console tuned for different kinds of play, this is the Switch I've wanted all along because I am that guy who spends more time in my day crammed into a subway car than I do sitting in front of my TV. Of course, I would gravitate towards this, but if that's not you, Fine, that's totally great. The Switch Lite isn't just a good business decision, it's proof that there's a Switch out there for just about everyone. We'll see you tomorrow with more Engadget Today.